in this section what we are going to do is we are going to set targets for our corridor so uh, before that i will uh, let you know why we need target again so i will select the corridor from here the one we created and if you need to turn off the corridor you can select the corridor right click and go to corridor properties from here and also from here on the ribbon you can go to corridor properties either way you go to corridor properties and your parameters tab parameters tab turn off this corridor from here this check mark button uncheck this one and click ok and rebuild the corridor so your corridor will be gone so some some of the notifications coming on but they are not much important because they are like information information notices so i click those from here so now i am in the civil 3d 2020 version so most of uh, the civil 3d versions are uh, followed by the target mapping with the older type target mapping rather than the 2024 version and 2023 version so first i will explain the older way and then i will explain the newer way in the civil 3d 22 2024 version so now i have a turn off the corridor you can see our lane is widening the, actually the shoulder is widening at this stage for a bus bay so the corridor is not followed here you can see it clearly once we turn on the corridor so to turn on the corridor you go to prospector you go to corridors from here here expand the corridor then you can have the two lane road right click and go to corridor properties from here and turn on the corridor and click ok and rebuild the corridor now you will see corridor didn't follow the edge of the shoulder because this is your edge of the shoulder line this is the edge of the lane line so you can see the point code name at the bottom called lane and this is also a point code related to name but this is edge of the travel bay that is the uh, shoulder edge so you can see shoulder edge is like going like this but it should go like go like this so this is what is the what is this is the problem we are having here so we need to rectify that so to do that i click the corridor here then go to corridor properties then go to targets i select the last row which are we, where i need to select the, the corridor targets then go to target here so in the targets you have two types of targets surface targets and width targets so in here actually three target types surface target width target and slope elevation targets so uh, surface target is already set uh, and width target we have to set to follow the width of the road and slope elevation target we are not going to use and it is uh, very hardly used uh, in uh, normal activities so with target so what we do is we are telling civil 3d to follow a target instead of the width given by the assembly in the assembly we give a width like 3.5 for the lane edge and uh, from that edge we are giving one meter for the shoulder edge likewise but instead of following that width we are selecting a line so that corridor follows that line as the width so here for the right side i said this i click here to set that target so the right side we have the right lane edge so that is right 3.5 meter offset alignment that is refers to so if you have uh, we should do not have offset alignments for the layout so these things coming from the layout if you do not have offset alignments from the layout you might have sometimes foley lines and feature lines as the layout in that case you can select the correct feature line from the drawing like that so in our case i am going to use the alignment i will select the correct alignment for the lineage then right click and add it to the target set so your lane r now followed right 3.5 so click ok 
now shoulder r then it should be this one so if you cannot find this one yes another way you can click here click here to find that one and using the lines here so uh, currently you can cannot see here because you have to turn on the object uh, selection cycling so i'll press escape for the moment and i will go with this way but later i will show if you turn on the selection cycling as i told you earlier you can select that one from the selection cycling menu so i'll click add here and click ok then shoulder with target verge we don't have any target because we only uh, had the layout for lane and shoulder only so you don't have to set any targets here and for the left one we'll select left 3.5 and and right left 3.5 minus one that means for shoulder edge the target and i am going to click ok after setting all these things and you will see now once i click ok and rebuild the corridor now you will see your corridor now follows that line you can see now the corridor with this also followed by the line in the uh layout so now you can see a lot earlier you don't see this type of shape now you will see this uh, transition line and everything followed by the corridor so this is how you create a more accurate corridor with civil 3d using the targets so i will now move on to civil 3d 2024 version to uh, do the same targeting but with a uh, different method so now i am now i am in civil 3 2024 so i am going to show you how to do the targeting with that one so i click the corridor here go to corridor properties from here and go to parameters tab then i select the last row which i am going to set the targets and click targets so you will end up with this kind of window not like earlier so the two types of targets you have offset target tab and surface target tab so surface target tab, tab we have already set surface target means you have to set the eg target always most of the cases actually so i go to offset and elevation targets so now you have to select the targets according to the uh, criteria so first we have the lane l and we are going to set the width targets so i will maximize this column to see it properly so we are going to set only the width target so if i click here it will give you what are the options if you have polylines you can select from here if you have alignments you can select from here so in this case for the width target my left width is i'll maximize this one left width line is I'll go down, maximize it, this one. So I'll click here. That is my left width. Then I move to the right one. So I select here. This is the right one. And I'm going to the shoulder left side target width. So this time, instead of going here, I will show, select it from here. Click here and this is my width target for the shoulder because it is going on a transition for the bus so i'll click here and right click click here or right click or press end now it will automatically select the line here you can now see it is already selected now you go to the right side and i'm going to show it select it again from the menu so it will be this is the lineage this is the shoulder so if you have turn on this selection cycling you will see it from here this alignment so now it is found now you can see it is selected at the bottom now everything is set so i can click ok now and click ok again and rebuild the corridor so it will give you the same corridor like earlier with the target sets so what really happens is 
instead of the width given by the assembly, the civil 3D corridor will follow these lines as they are width targets. That's what really happens here. So now our corridor is completed. So if you click this corridor and go to object viewer from here, you will be able to see kind of a 3D model of the road. It's a little, little not easy to do that, but if you, you can see here, this is kind of a 3D model of the road. So that is created uh, using the uh, assembly we uh, created earlier. So there are so many things to do with corridors, but as a beginner, we are not going to learn everything. So that is what really happens in corridor. So in the next section, we will see how to create corridor surfaces.